So now that we have the code here on GitHub, what if you guys actually wanted to start using it? I'm going to show you how to clone the repository locally for your setup as a, as a short introduction video here. Um, so we have this repository right here, the course planner. And when you go into it, find this link right here, you can actually see there's a, a request URL here that you can clone the code to your machine with. So what I'm going to show you is since I didn't put up all the code, I'm going to show you how you would actually, using Grunt, create this exact same copy that I have right here on your machine. So let's, uh, let me make a new directory here. CD, I'll just make one called Course Planner 2. Okay, so this will be my new directory where I'm going to now take the exact same code that's on GitHub right now and I'll make the application locally. So what we have to do is go into that folder, course planner, ah, shh. go into that folder, course planner two, and then in here I'll write git clone and then the URL that I just put in there and it'll clone into course planner. So there'll be an extra folder called course planner in here. So you could just have cloned directly into course planner. If I do a deer here, you'll see there's actually a folder here, but my problem would be I would overwrite the one I already have and I don't want to do that. So that was why I made the extra folder. Okay, so let's go into that folder. And from here, you should actually just be able to write run, uh, sorry, npm install to download all npm packages. And that's going to take a while. So I'll just skip to the end. So that took a bit of time, but now we've downloaded all the npm files locally. And just notice if that had to be done on um, on our GitHub, it would take a long time for you to download my project. The next thing you have to do is do a Bower install. That's kind of a way for us to download all the UI components that we talked about earlier. And, and yeah, you can improve that. And um, I'll just uh, pause the video again until that's actually done. It would be a bit faster than the other one, I think. So now all the Bower components are also installed. So now the last step should be for you to write grunt serve and then we should be able to start the application without any fuss. And hopefully you actually have a running application just like mine with the exact same setup and now also with um, um, the syllabuses and everything is up and running and ready to use. So this is how from now on we can start working together uh, if you wanna pull down my code. See you next lesson.